It's Scott from Nashville, Tennessee, installing this here Rhythm Chef. Interesting thing about the uh, pitguard installation, which uh, I found peculiar, was figuring out where to drill this hole. Um, I could measure pretty good up here and figure out where this hole needed to be, but this one was a little tricky. So what I did is I took this little awl, a right angled one, and I stuck it on in there and I scratched back and forth like this. I made a little scratch mark. And then you can see if I take this off, Here's my little scratch mark. Kind of showed me right where I needed to be. I was trying to use paint and stuff to figure it out. Once I figured out where I was, I just uh, drilled a hole. Turns out, it was the right thing to do. So I'm gonna continue working on that. Getting everything lined up here. In the Next step in my process is uh, testing the circuit. This is the resistance of the pickup. I've got the lead wire, which is white. Can you see the white lead wire? There it is from the pickup. And it comes over here to the volume. Okay, this is the way these Shatten volume thingies work. Uh, the real important part of this whole deal is which way do we want to orient to turn the volume knob off and on. Um, he, the customer wants it in the orientation where when he rolls it up towards the nut, it turns the volume down. And when he rolls it towards the end pin, it goes up. I just shorted out. Okay, there it is. So if I wanted to have it the other way around, what I would do is I would switch these two outside lugs, the wires on those lugs, I would turn them like this. And there's no left-handed and right-handed pot. They're universal, I guess. So that's how I test the circuit. I have everything set through the output jack and you know wired together. I haven't introduced the capacitor and the tone into the circuit yet. That's a no-brainer. I'm just going to go ahead and get the soldering iron out and uh, and wire this all up right on the bench. It, the way it works with the arch top is that the output jack can go down right into through the F hole and um, I can just screw everything together once it's already soldered. Quick glimpse at how my soldering technique looks. That was the, uh, those were the two ground wires, one to the jack and one to the pickup. And here's my lead wire from the pickup. It's gonna go over here. I think it wants to, wants to twist. Come on, baby, let's do the twist. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. That should do. How about that. All right, before I solder in the capacitor, Want to test the circuit again uh, to make sure I had to <clears throat> solder in six inches of uh, um, 
wire to the jack because the, the wires weren't long enough. So it's cool. The diagram says all you have to do is solder the uh, capacitor to point to these two little middle parts. There's a, in, you know, a, a printed circuit board right here. Anyways, it's going to be installed this direction, and he wants the volume to go up as he goes towards the, uh, rolls it towards the end pin, and he wants the volume to cut off when he rolls it up towards the nut or the frets. So there you go. It works. I did not fry the wires when I soldered them. I got the heat shrink tubing ready to shrink as I do that. Gotta, I haven't done this in a while. Most of the repairs I've been getting are acoustic guitar. And this one kind of qualifies as an acoustic electric. And you shrink the tubing on there. That way, when those two solder joints are down inside the body of the guitar, if, they, if they're exposed and they touch each other, the whole thing could short out. So that's why heat shrink tubing is a good idea on this uh, installation. All right, and I'm still checking along the way that nothing's shorting out. I got 6.2 ohms, 6.1. Before I soldered it into this component, it actually read 6.6 ohms. Out guitar laying around, it turns out I can stick the pickup right there and actually hear what it sounds like. So <clears throat> here's what I'm talking about. This capacitor, they. This printed circuit board has a place for the capacitor right here. These The legs go through, and all you have to do, I, these are heat sinks. You always want to use a heat sink when you're soldering a capacitor because it doesn't take much heat to fry it. And that's why I work really fast. Intricate little, see now these legs are extra long. Let's see if it works and then I'll cut them off. All right, I'll hold it right here on my lap. Hear what it sounds like. I'll turn the volume down. I'll turn the tone down. Tone up. Tone down. forgot to film the actual drilling of the uh, the screws. Anyways, I laid down some uh, low-tech tape for protection. I took an awl and I punched into the wood slightly. Then I took my drill with a 7-inch 1 16th drill bit that clears completely clears the drill of the body when I drilled those two holes. And I took the teeny tiny little screws and I screwed them right in. Um, this pickup has, it came with two little pieces of felt, but I put in my own third thicker piece. It's like from, a, I don't know if you can see it, yeah, the factory felt is uh, floating above the body. There's a big old piece of felt in the center. That I got. It's like a chair felt, something you'd put on a chair leg. And that elevated the pickup up to where I thought was a little closer to the strings. All right, I'll get working on the pick guard. Got some zip ties on here already. So here's the last look at what it looks like before I stuff it down in the hole. I've got a piece of the Gorilla Heavy Duty Mountain Tape. <laughs> I don't trust the stuff it comes with. Could wipe this off, maybe wipe my finger grease off of it. Here's my tape. Here's a little uh, naphtha on a paper towel. I'll wipe my greasy hand grease off this.
put my Gorilla Tape I'll make sure the tape doesn't touch the wheel. It does not. Got to get that tape off of there. Peel this off here. Sometimes peeling these tapes off the adhesive or take longer than the other parts of the repair. And now I can start stuffing it in the hole. All right. We want it, we want the wheels down here, just like that. Yep, just like that. Now I'll screw in the pick guard. I'll leave the volume all the way up for the demo. I'm gonna mess with the tone just a little bit here. That's the tone all the way off. I'll just leave it at about two o'clock, I guess.